In an uncertain and very changing world, how do we develop an internal certainty to give ourselves a foundation of knowing that we are okay whilst the world outside could be crazy and completely changing? How do we get a feeling that says, you know what, I've got this. I wanna share with you three things that you can use straight away. The first thing is, is to really get clear on what you can and what you cannot influence. See, one of the things that makes us feel really unsure about the world and really unsure about ourselves is focusing too much on the things that we cannot influence, the things that are outside what's called our circle of influence. Now, it's not to say to completely disconnect from those things, maybe pay attention to them, maybe spend about 10% of your time focusing on the things that you wanna be up to date on, aware of inside the world that you cannot control, that you cannot influence. There's no direct thing you can do right now to be able to change them and then put as much focus as you can on the things that you can influence. One of the biggest mistakes that people make in their life is they focus on everyone else instead of themselves. They think that if I can control everything else outside of me, if I can control the people that are in my relationships and the circumstances that I have, if I could just fix everything out there, that maybe then I would feel different in here. And it's actually just not the way that it works. We need to turn within first because the outside world and our experience of the outside world will always be a reflection of how we feel about ourselves and what's going on on the inside world. And so the first principle is, is really get clear on what can you influence and what can you not influence. And, and the truth is, is that the most important things that we can influence are our thoughts and our emotions and the relationship that we have with ourselves. When I talk about the relationship that we have with ourselves, what I mean is, is the style of relationship, right? Everyone's got a relationship with themselves, but is it a relationship based on conflict or is it a relationship based on acceptance, based on love, based on appreciation? There's a lot of work to be done there to turn towards ourselves in a loving and an accepting and an appreciating way. The second thing that you can do, or that we can all do, to be able to create even more certainty in our lives whilst the world is crazy, is self-care. One of the things that a lot of people don't think about when they get stressed out is the most important thing you can do is start taking care of yourself even more. You know, a lot of people's mindset is, oh, I just gotta keep going, just gotta keep pushing, and then eventually that just gets to a place of burnout. The most important thing we can do is look after ourselves. And as a functional adult, one of the most important realizations we need to have is that no one else is going to look after us if we don't do it ourselves. So starting to implement things like meditation, exercise, going for a walk, leaving your phone at home, turning the screens off, things that give us rest, get sunshine, get fresh air, go for a walk when you can, those things are investing energy back into us and that gives us more internal certainty. The last principle is a massive one. And it's kind of um, a little bit counterintuitive to the first two that I've said, but you need to include them both together, is don't make your life all about you. Serve other people. Make it about contribution. Make your life about making an impact or making a difference in someone else's life. There's something magic that happens inside us when we stop focusing completely on ourselves, only just on our own problems, and really allow ourselves to take care of someone else. It's one of the reasons why I like coaching so much is because it allows me to focus fully on serving another person and giving them the gift. And as a result of that, I actually take something away from it because I get perspective, I get an outsider's perspective, I get to learn about another person. My problems in contrast will seem a little bit different. It's a wonderful gift and it also gives us fulfillment and it gives us meaning to really make our lives not just only about ourselves, but also about others. I'm sure you've heard this before, you've got to put on your own oxygen mask before you put on the mask of others. And so it's about doing both. Our oxygen mask, and then we put on the oxygen mask of as many people as we possibly can. That's a great way to give yourself purpose and meaning whilst the world is completely changing. If you've taken away anything from this video at all, I would absolutely love to invite you along to a free training that we're running. You can go ahead and click the link below head over to another page and I'd love to tell you all about it. It's all about ideas like this and how we can apply them to our own lives and most importantly, how we can apply them to the lives of others. Go ahead and click the link below and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.